Shall we continue? We'll go for next problem. Okay. Guys, are you there? Yes, sir. So all this problem I explained, right? This problem, this problem I explained in system, right? Shall we solve this one? Here you see a pentagonal lamina of edge 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corner. Okay. See a pentagonal lamina of edge 25 mm resting on HP with one of its corner. Resting on HP with one of its corner. With this statement, we can draw the starting position. Okay. Go to our uh, software. The screen is visible. Draw this line. Okay. Caps lock. X, Y, above X, I, V, P, below H, P. Select the line. Visible line because of my screen resolution. I am checking the thickness. Otherwise, no need to check. The pentagon. How to draw pentagon? Click the starting point with the mouse, then leave the mouse. Don't use mouse again. 25, enter 0. Is the first line length. Second line length is 25. Fix the line by pressing enter. Angle is 72 for pentagon. 360 divided by 5. Okay, outside angle of the polygon is 360 divided by 5. So 360 divided by 5 is 72. Second angle should be 25. Enter 72. Press enter. The third line will be length is 25 again. Angle is 72 into 2. Right? 72 into 2. 72 into 25. Enter. 72 into enter. Then again, third line, fourth line, 25 enter. 72 into 3. Again, 25 enter. 72 into 4. Like this, you have to construct. Okay, you already constructed in the beginning class. The first one is 25, 0. Second line, 25, 72. 25, 72 into 2. 25, 72 into 3. 25, 72 into 4. Here you want corner resting, right? For that, what you have to do? Select this. Okay. Rotate this. Here, while rotating, copy should be off. What I am doing? Clicking the right side corner of the base line. Okay. Click the end point of the second line make this vertical you see vertical symbol and also position angle showing 90 rotate like this so now it will be corner resting in order to make sure that click on this line make sure this line is 90 degree if the opposite line is 90 degree then the orientation is proper it is corner resting then mark the point say this is with small letter a B, C, D, E. Okay. So then what you have to do? Select this line. Okay. Select normal line to draw the projection line. See C projection. So end of this line is C. You should select like this. End of this line is D. B and D going along same line. Okay. End of this line is E. Like this, you have to select. So then the front view should be visible. Okay. Because of resolution, I am changing thickness. My display resolution is high. I, I have to change the thickness to see the difference. So from this projection line end point to this projection line end point is your front view. Right click to exit from the light. Then mark this point. What is this point? C dash. This point is B dash of D dash. This point is A dash of 
e dash okay so then here you see this is as per your as per your first problem statement we draw up to here a pentagonal lamina of its 25 mm is resting on hp with one of its corner <coughs> okay such that the edge opposite to this corner is 20 mm above hp and makes an angle 45 degree to vp draw the top and front view of the plane lamina in this position determine the inclination of the lamina with hp for convenient conventional approach is what first you have to make which is the primary reference plane you have to identify primary reference plane is hp you have to give hp angle first but in the problem statement hp angle is not given only vp angle is given in order to find out hp angle they given that it is resting on corner such that edge opposite to this corner edge opposite to the resting corner is 20 mm above hp with this information we have to find the hp angle so here you see c is the corner opposite edge is ae okay when you are tilting you have to make sure that ae when you are tilting this selecting and tilting ae should come 20 mm above hp how we have to solve this select the line here select normal line fix this line so uh, take 20 mm line 20 mm at 90 okay here you need to fix ae here you need to fix ae because we are using rotation approach don't select and rotate like this sometime you will be having minute error if you do like this if you do like this ae you have to keep it here 20 mm above xy line and you have to rotate like this this is the approach it has to be but when you place it sometime what happen there will be error here if you zoom and see there will be error okay in order to avoid that what should be the best approach is take this length okay what is the length of this line the distance between c projection and ae projection will give the trend view length 38.47 use arc by center point and from the 20 mm distance from xy line we drawn this 20 mm right so with smart dimension you can show this is 20 mm from this point 20 mm above xy from this point get the arc of 38.47 your corner resting corner should be 38.47 distance from this this point ae okay c point should be 38.47 distance from ae you have to take arc up to x y line then okay join this line with visible line this should be your front view in the second position so 20 mm line end point to arc end point okay you can mark this as a dash of e this is a dash of e dash and this point as what is this point c dash okay where should be the b dash of d dash for that you need to find this distance distance between this point and this point so it is similar to your manual approach okay so this will give proper result 14.69 take arc by center from c point b dash of d dash is 14.69 distance away take the arc this arc also should be normal line okay so this point is b dash of d dash Okay, then use the projection. So use C projection will be here. Okay, trim unwanted projection. Mark this point as C. Similarly, B D projection is here. Projection of B. Projection of B and projection of D. Then trim the unwanted projection. 
this is what b dash sorry b and this is d similarly projection of a e follow this slide projection of a make sure it is horizontal 0 degree projection of it is e then trim this then mark this as a and this is e okay then select the line use visible line but because of resolution i select 1 mm otherwise no need to select okay so end of this projection is a end of this uh, projection is b end of this projection is c end of this line is d end of this line is e and end of this line is a okay <clears throat> this will be second position and you have to show given angle and given dimension the pentagonal dimension is 25 and also so as they given it is resting on corner such that opposite edge is 20 mm above hp okay with this position you need to find out hp inclination okay measure this angle hp angle 31 degree okay so then what is the third position Pentagonal lamina of H 25 mm is resting on H B with one of its corners such that the edge opposite to the corner is 20 mm above H B and makes an angle 45 degree to V P. What is making an angle 45 degree to V P? The opposite edge only, opposite edge opposite to the corner is 20 mm above H B and makes an angle 45 degree. Opposite edge making angle 45. So now we have to cross verify whether it is case one problem, case two problem. Here is opposite edge is A E. A E is here you see length of A E is 25. Here also length of A E is 25. When it is same length, okay. So give inclination for the given angle only. So take normal line. So what is the angle? What is the angle? What is the angle? 45, right? 45 degree. 45. So take 45 degree. Fix the angle minus 45. Enter and drag this line. So now no need to find the angle since the opposite edge AE is remain same length. You just have to select the second position top view. Move this. Pick from E point. Place it on this. While moving, copy should be R. Place it on this 45 degree line. So you have to pick from E point, end of this line, and when you place it on 45 degree line, it appear in color. Place it. Then, if you right click, it selection is disabled. After placing, still it is moving. Selection is enabled only. Go to rotate. So click E as center of rotation. Bring your E point on 45 degree line. Like and measure the angle here. Then what you have to do? Select this, select this, and draw the projection here along x y line. C point will get. C point will project up to x y line. The so end of this projection line is B D. B D line will be on this. Projection of B will be here. Make sure it is 90 degree. Projection line is 90 degree. Projection of D is up to here. And trim the unwanted projection. Mark the point. This is what C dash. This is B dash. This is D dash. Okay. Similarly, along this line, we will get A E projection. So end of this point line is A. So make sure 90 degree angle and end of this line is E. The E projection will be up to here. If it is disturbing like this, fix the angle 90. Press 90 and press enter and drag up to E E projection line. Then trim the unwanted projection. Mark the point. So this point is E dash, right? E dash. And this point is A dash. Then join this line A to with visible line. 
compared to E. Yeah, I think uh, this is B. Uh, here, see here, this is, this is A. Right, A dash is here, B dash, uh, E dash is here. Okay. A to B. B to C. End of this line is C. End of this line is D. End of this line is B. Right click to exit. This will be at the end point, end position, it will satisfy all the conditions. Like it is corner resting C, corner resting on HP. When it is HP resting in the front view, in VP, the corner touches XY line. Okay. When it is VP resting in HP, the corner will touch XY line. Okay, here. Opposite edge remains 20 mm. Here also, if you check the distance, it will be 20 mm only. 20 mm above HP. Opposite edge is 20 mm above HP. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.